you've received a brand new fan. It's shiny, looks really great. You're about to plug it into your industrial application and two days from now it's going to be real dusty, messy, and hopefully running forever. So why at startup should you balance a fan? As a question I get a lot, I got a brand new fan. You guys are supposed to balance it. And the, ans and the answer to your question, we do balance it. But what can often happen between shipping and you receiving, that fan is handled. And there's no way we can absolutely guarantee that there weren't problems in the handling of the fan that have caused it to come out of balance from how we shipped it. So the main reason why I recommend you balance fans at startup is so you can spend a little bit of money on getting someone in to balance the fan so you don't have to spend a lot of money in dealing with problems that come due to operating an unbalanced fan. Now I'll, I'll admit most customers do not balance fans at startup and most of the time that's okay. But there have been times, let me just demonstrate this real quick. You receive a fan and it has a shaft and bearings. Let's say it has a belt drive coming off of it, a motor. That's not a very good motor, but here's my motor. And you got the fan right here. Not very central to the fan, but oh well, you get the picture here. You've received your fan. Here's your inlet. And a lot of fans have a bushing connection on the inlet. So what we're going to do is take a bushing. We're going to install the wheel to the shaft by using a bushing. And when we torque that thing down, there's three screws or three bolts a lot of times, that we're torquing down right here to connect your bushing to your shaft. So we're torquing that down. Well, let's say again, as this fan is being shipped, a shipper drops it, but not bad enough that there was any structural damage that you can see, but it was bad enough. Maybe it just shook this enough and loosened one of the bolts. The last thing you want when you fire this thing up is to find that you've got a shaky bolt, a bushing coming off, and your wheel just free spinning inside that housing. There's a lot of damage that comes from that. That's one reason you would balance after you received a fan. Another is if it is out of balance, now you fire it up, you're running at high vibration levels. When you're running at high vibration levels, one of these two bearings is likely to fail sooner than you want it to. If one bearing fails, the other bearing often fails, the other bearing often fails, if your inboard is the one that fails, your shaft can drop, your wheel can contact your cone. And now you have a situation where you have to replace a cone, a wheel, a bushing, a shaft, and bearings. And I promise you that is a lot more expensive than just getting the fan balance to start up. So I recommend and highly suggest you balance your fans at startup.